Let's look at SAP Business One 8.8. .8. One of the great things about SAP Business One is that each user can log into the system and have their own view of the information that they require. In this particular example, I might for example be a finance user and as I log in the KPIs that I want to overview are my aging, my overdue analysis, my aging by revenue and my top five customers. This is the snapshot that I want to see from SAP Business One and these are the KPIs that I'm looking at. As a finance user my common functions might include journal entry and I can click on the journal entry and drill straight down to that function which I commonly use. In terms of the open documents for example, as a finance user I might have open sales orders, open AR invoices. If I now want to drill down to those open AR invoices, I simply click on the button and now I'm in that screen. I can now of course double click and sort by days overdue or due date for example and once again if I want to I can drill down to the actual invoice level. So what we're seeing here as we log into SAP Business One is a user's perspective of the information that they want to see. If I want to add or change information it's very simple I simply click on the settings, I untick what I don't want to see and I tick what I do want to see and the information changes for me. If for example I wasn't a finance user but I was a sales user then when I log in I'd have a different view. We're now looking at my sales analysis view. In this particular view I'm looking at my fiscal year sales versus last year, my opportunity win rate, my top five customers and my opportunity status. Again I have open items, messages and alerts. As another example of information available on the front screen of SAP Business One I can now drill down on this request for document approval. So in this instance a particular user has sent me a request to approve a particular document. I drill down, I can see its purchase order, as with standard SAP Business One functionality, I drill down again and I can see it's for ABC customer CAPEX 3321. If I want to have a look at that pending purchase order, again I can drill down and I can go to a greater level of detail. I can now of course drill down to the actual item and see how many I've got in stock if I so wish. I can now approve or not approve that purchase order and I can put my comments or remarks in the relevant field. So what we're seeing there is the ability to log into SAP Business One, get my KPIs, my view of the world and also drill down to information which I might commonly want to see from this particular interface. Now let's go to the more standard view of SAP Business One through our traditional menus. One of the first things we'll notice is some familiar buttons like Microsoft Excel. So if for example I run a report and I want to put that report into Microsoft Excel I can do so at the click of a button. I can of course from within the application I can email and I can fax for example an AR invoice or purchase order from directly within the application. I have my to-do list which is available to me and I have a full diary system to enable me to put activities for example meetings, notes, tasks etc into the system and allocate those against a lead, a customer or a supplier. And this diary system can obviously be integrated with Microsoft Outlook. Let's have a look now at some of the standard functionality available inside SAP Business One. Under administration I obviously have elements like approval procedures where I can set up standard workflow to approve purchase orders or for example sales orders. So I might want an approval procedure that says if a sales order goes through with a discount that's greater than 10% it must be approved by the manager. I can also have alerts management. So an alert is the ability to have the system notify me when a particular condition is met. So in this instance when minimum stock is below its preferred level, please notify me of that condition. Obviously within administration I can also set up elements like user authorizations. Within financials I have a flexible chart of accounts which allows me to configure the chart such that my profit and loss and balance sheet will look and feel and will hold the information that I wanted to. 
I, as within other aspects of SAP Business One, can drill down to greater level of detail. So here, as I'm looking at my general ledger, sales revenue domestic, product number one, I can drill down to that greater level of detail. If I now want to have a look at that particular invoice, I can once again drill down and go to the actual invoice at this level. Within SAP Business One, multiple budgets available and multiple budget scenarios. So I might have my standard budget, my optimistic and my pessimistic budget. When I run a P&L or balance sheet, I can run it against whichever budget scenarios I choose. I have within the system as well cost accounting, so the ability to set up profit centers and cost centers and to report on those. So I can report as a company, I can report as a profit center, and within SAP Business One, I can also report as a project or job. Multiple reports available at each step of the way throughout the system. So for example, let's just go into a standard aging report, customer aging, we'll run it as of today's date. Other nice aspects in the system, a diary system to click on and choose the dates that I want. As we drill down, again, we see the aspects of the ability to drill down at this level, for example, to the actual customer information and customer phone number, or alternatively, to drill down to the individual invoices at this level. What SAP is doing for, for us at each step of the way is making it very simple to move around the system to get to the information that we want. Let's have a look at sales opportunities in SAP Business One. So customer relationship management or sales opportunities allows us to set up opportunities in SAP Business One either for an, a customer or a lead, someone who we haven't yet sold to. And what we can do is we can keep information about who our competitors are on this sales cycle, who we might be partnering with, whether we win or lose this particular opportunity. So effectively taking our sales forecast off of the traditional spreadsheet and putting it inside SAP Business One with the ability obviously to run multiple reports. Sales AR in SAP Business One, I can start with a quotation, which can become a sales order, a delivery, and then an AR invoice or I can step in at any particular step. So I might step in and just go straight to an AR invoice. Obviously with an SAP Business One, the system is full wildcard search, so star E star. We'll bring up anyone with E in the name. I then choose who I want, and I can go ahead and I can start invoicing. So as I was saying earlier, we can either follow a process of quotation, copy to order, copy to delivery, to AR invoice, or we can step in at any particular step. Once again, multiple sales reports available to us. Purchasing AP, I can start off with a purchase order, and as we saw earlier, I can use workflow to have that purchase order approved. That gets matched to a PO as the goods are delivered to the warehouse, and then to an AP invoice. Or of course, I can stop the, st stop the initial steps and go straight in and do an AP invoice. Landed costs, the ability within SAP Business One to go in and do my full landed costs of the items into the warehouse. So in this particular example, let's go in and have a look. I've got these particular costs, insurance, shipping, storage. And what I can do is I can allocate them by different methods. So this is the ability then to take the additional costs associated with importing our items and to add those costs so that the true landed cost of the item is reflected as the item is in the warehouse. Business Partners in SAP Business One is master data associated with customers, suppliers and leads. Within SAP Business One, a great use of screen real estate by using the tabs. I can go into the tab, multiple contact persons, multiple bill to and ship to addresses, set up my payment terms, my ABA Australian Banking Association file for EFT, multiple properties can be kept against a supplier, a customer or a lead. This assists me with reporting where I can go and choose to report just on particular properties for certain customers as an example. I can obviously also have remarks 
This is a VIP customer, payment terms always negotiable, etc. In terms of the ability to get information at this level, if for example I was on the phone talking to this customer, well I can either drill down using the orange arrow, and I can drill down again to greater level of detail, or I could click on the graph, takes me to this level of detail, change the type of graph down at the bottom, for example, and again sort the information at the top of the screen and drill down if I want to to the actual invoice level here. So once again what we're seeing there I start at a high level of information and I very simply drill my way down and around the system to greater level of detail. I can of course keep activities against business partners for example I might have a phone call with regards to debtors which are overdue and I might allocate that to Earthshaker Corporation and I can put my notes in here and additional notes in the content to say that I made a call with regards to following up on some particular outstanding invoices. Banking, the ability obviously to do incoming and outgoing payments and the all important bank reconciliations. Stock management, with an SAP Business One, a full stock management system with the ability to have items, for example, tracked by serial number or by batch, as well as the ability to have service and warranty templates, items inactive or active, my purchasing data, multiple units of measure. So, for example, I might purchase in singles, but I might sell in 12s, or I might purchase in boxes of 12, but I might, in terms of my sales data, I might sell in units of one. Stocking data, the ability to have, for example, minimax stock levels, multiple warehouses, what's in stock, committed, available, etc. What's the item cost? Planning data, the ability to look at what's the procurement method, it's by, the order interval is usually weekly, and minimum order quantity is usually 10. Lead time, 90 days. This information assists our purchasing team with regards to what they should purchase and when. Again, as we saw earlier in the system, the ability to have multiple properties against an item and, of course, remarks. Production is the ability within SAP Business One to have a bill of materials, production order and a receipt from production. So if you're doing kitting or basic assembly, a great system to keep the bill of materials, issue to the shop floor and do a receipt back in. MRP we touched on earlier, the ability to have a forecast and then ask the system to look at demand from current forecast and sales orders versus supply from current stock and purchase orders, then looking at lead times and to make purchase order recommendations. Servicing an SAP Business One is the ability to keep service calls associated with warranty tracking. So in this instance, for customer Norm Thompson, we have a problem with a particular machine what are the remarks, no power to the machine, what are the activities against this, what's the recommended solution, etc. So this is the ability to keep contracts or warranty templates and to look after post-sale service by following up on particular items which we may have an issue with. Reports within SAP Business One, multiple reporting options, standard reporting options, options from Drag and Relate, Crystal Reports, many, many options available to us. Thanks very much for listening. I hope you uh, enjoyed the presentation. Please don't forget that there are loads of other presentations available and information available on our website at www.leveragetech.com.au. Thanks for watching.